Hello friends, I'm Meghna Thomas and welcome back to our channel Golden Eplets Aviation Pilot Training Academy Your route to the cockpit My video today is for those students who are in their 12th standard and will be appearing for their board exams shortly Well, if you've still not decided about what you want to do in your life or where do you want to go ahead Well, becoming a pilot is not a bad idea at all Well, this is for those people who deep down inside have the desire to become a pilot but are not sure of how to go about with the procedure So if you are in 12th standard right now and need to know how to become a pilot my video today will surely help you Well Igrua which is a short form of Indira Gandhi Rashtriya Uddan Academy has a very stringent procedure for the selection of their candidates The selection procedure includes a written entrance examination which is conducted all over India The next step is the pilot aptitude test and then you will have an interview by the interviewing board The selection for the candidates into the ab initio cpl course ab initio cpl basically is uh, the training which towards the end will only give you a cpl so for your selection into that ab initio course is totally done on merit basis that is your merit which will be compiled after your written test your uh, pilot aptitude test and the interview there is a portion of seats that is also reserved for the uh, sc st obc category and this is as per the government of india guidelines let me tell you about the written examination for the selection into your ab initio cpl course the written examination is conducted for a duration of 2 hours which will include your subjects that is your basic maths physics and english for this you will have to prepare from your 10th and 12th standard that is your 10th 11th and 12th standard the questions will be from the uh, those subjects and once you successfully finished your written examination the selected candidates will go for the pilot aptitude test A merit list will be prepared for different categories of candidates and the shortlisted candidates are issued the instructions to join in batches for effective utilization of the resources. Now the examination centers are generally all over the India they cover all the major cities. Now let's talk about the eligibility into the ab initio course. Your age at the time of joining the course should be 17 years. The qualifications are as usual your 10 plus 2 equivalent with physics english and maths but you should have scored 50% in each physics maths and english so this is for the general candidates but for the sc st obc candidates a minimum of 45% individually in each subjects is required this will also require you to get your class 1 medical certificate so before joining the institute for the course you should have had your class 1 medical assessment in hand igrua also provides bsc in aviation and this degree is provided by the ram manohar lal avad university in ayodhya this degree is conducted simultaneously with your cpl course and the duration of this course will be 3 years now how will you get to know about the admission into igrua well the advertisement for the admissions into the ab initio course is usually given out in the employment newspapers or your leading daily newspapers some state governments provide scholarship to reserve category candidates of their states now igrua only forwards the application to the respective state government so if you need a scholarship you may approach your state government for the same because indira gandhi rashtriya uddan academy is one of the leading pilot training institutes in our country after your 12th standard giving it a try would be a good idea they also have their website you can go on google and look up for them i hope you like watching our videos and i hope that our videos will help you for more such informative videos and updates you know what you have to do stay tuned to golden eplets aviation come let's fly